In a first, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi participated in a meeting of the European Council today. The Premier was a special invitee, collectively interacted with all European Union member states in a meeting that was hosted by Portugal Prime Minister Antonia Costa. This was the first meeting of India with EU in the EU Plus 27 format. India and European Union have built strong, multifaceted ties based on shared values of democracy, rule of law, and fundamental freedoms. United States is the only country with which such a meeting has happened in the past. The India-EU summit in July 2020 built momentum for ties between India and European Union members. The India-EU Roadmap 2025, which was adopted last year, aims to strengthen India's strategic partnership with EU nations. Let us quickly take a look at key areas that have been the focus of dialogue between India and the European Union. The first one is the trusted COVID-19 assistance between India and European Union members. 16 EU nations have sent medical aid in the form of ventilators, oxygen, and remdesivir. India, too, supported European Union through open supply chains in the first wave of the pandemic. The second is the economic relationship. India and European Union aim to establish high-level trade and investment dialogue at 15 India-EU summit in July 2021. European Union has been India's largest trading partner in goods and largest uh, source for foreign direct investment. The third key area of partnership is security cooperation. India and European Union aim to increase security cooperation to meet shared challenges. The first maritime security dialogue was held in January 2021. Cooperation for digital future is another key area that India and European Union have been focusing on. Focus will also be on forming a joint task force on artificial intelligence. India and EU will also look to set up a new digital investment forum. The fifth is partnership for a sustainable future. India and EU signed a clean energy and climate cooperation in 2016. It focuses on cooperation in smart grids, energy efficiency, and energy security. India and EU will also take forward the climate change dialogue and focus on financing sustainable infrastructure. And the sixth is convergences in the Indo-Pacific region. The European Union announced an Indo-Pacific policy, policy in April 2021 that recommits EU politically to the region with the aim of contributing to its stability, security and prosperity. The key focus of day two of the EU summit is the bilateral meeting between India and the bloc. The virtual meeting on trade comes amid a debate on vaccine patent waiver. The EU leaders are holding talks with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. India is the world's largest vaccine manufacturer. Earlier, EU Commission Chief Asla von der Leyen said that she has high expectations from the summit the pleasure to update the leaders on the state of play what COVID is concerned and today of course the focus will be on the EU India summit um, we are very much looking forward to it it is a very well prepared summit and expectations are high so uh, I am uh, positive that we will have uh, we will be able to do a major step forward because uh, between the EU and India, there is a close relationship, but also a lot of untapped potential. The most untapped potential is in trade and investment. Therefore, I'm looking forward to start, restart, I must say, restart negotiations on a free trade agreement, negotiations on an investment protection agreement, and on national indications. Ayan, Alia, the bloc said that it was ready to discuss U.S. President Joe Biden's proposal to lift patents on COVID vaccines. EU Council President Charles Mikkel said that the matter will be discussed once the bloc receives a concrete offer. On the intellectual property 
uh, we don't think in the short term that it's uh, the magic bullet, uh, but we are ready to engage uh, on this topic as soon as a concrete proposal would be put on the table. Also earlier, Germany, a prominent member of the bloc, opposed patent waiver. French President Emmanuel Macron said that the priority should be vaccine production and not patents. Macron also urged the U.S. to end limits on COVID vaccine exports. Si on veut aller vite, aujourd'hui, il n'y a pas une usine dans le monde qui ne peut pas produire des doses pour des pays pauvres à cause des brevets. La priorité d'aujourd'hui, c'est pas les brevets, c'est pas vrai, on se mentirait, c'est la production. Donc qu'est-ce qui bloque aujourd'hui la production D'abord, c'est d'ouvrir. Nous, sur ce qu'on a produit, on a à peu près laissé exporter 50%. Aux états unis en Grande-Bretagne, 100% de ce qui a été produit a été consommé sur le marché domestique. Ça, c'est le premier levier. Meanwhile, Pope Francis has supported Panted Waivers. In a speech to a global fundraising concert to promote fair access to vaccines, the Pope said that a variant of the coronavirus is closed nationalism, which prevents an internationalism of vaccines. Buongiorno. Si avvicinò, rotolò la...